search for line on boxes. That would. Up. Uh, wait. Hold on. E. Battle Group North Hag. Pick up the camera. I can pick up the camera. E. Battle Group North Hag. Rule book. And Battle Group North Hag British Star Army that got squished because it came from England. Like the majority of tabletop stuff because they like tabletop games in England and we like them too. But we don't make them. It makes me sad. But anyway. But anyway, so this is Battle Group North Hag. It is a World War Three. is a it is a Cold War gone hot game. Currently, it only has the British and the Soviets. Um, but it has some special rules in it that I was interested in, and I might and I and I might as well. And when I was getting the rule book, which is around thirty pounds, so it's around forty dollars. I also got the starter army, which is around forty pounds, so around sixty dollars. Uh, around about, around about. and, um, because it costs $25 to from England, apparently, usually, um, but anyway, 25 pounds is a ship from England, which is crazy, but anyway, um, you know, for this, but something I may be noticing is, this is a lot smaller than War of Team Yankee, if you go back and watch the War of Team Yankee videos, you notice something, the Abrams, the Abrams sprue will fit. The dimension will fit just about the dimensions of this box stacked on top of each other. You know, folded up and stacked on top of each other. And then you might be able to fit like two of them in there. Whereas this apparently fits an entire army. But apparently it fits in the entire army. So yeah, let's unbox it. And there's some expansions. Also the Soviet starter army. Not Fondra 3. That's, I'm so tempted to open it. Also, I mean, notice I got a new light. It's a, it's a bright something um, light and magnifier, so I can do, um, so I can do modeling stuff easier. And also, give me some good, give me get some good, um, give me some good lighting for doing stuff like this, for unboxing. So tiny! Well, they're so small. They're like half the size of War of Three Yankee. That's a problem. There's your light tanks. Oh, why'd you fall, camera? Why'd you fall? Oh, it's getting loose. It's getting loose. Shove it in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm still working. I'm still working to get the claw working. Glad that's not like being attached to cloth. But yeah, here are your little light tanks. And they're tiny. And it's made of like either resin or plastic. And this is by the Plastic Soldier Company, of course. Detail could honestly be better, but for how small it is, it's actually not bad. Same. The dudes. The 
so small. Again, really good detail, just really small. And the material feels really nice. More chieftains. Or this is British, British Star Set. Okay, it doesn't have both. More chieftains. But there's a lot of trimming you need to do. Okay, let's just do that. There we go. Holes. Yeah, these are like half the size of what it would be in Team Yankee. So they're not compatible, unfortunately. Ah, oh, well, still have them, which is nice. And like I can for shipping, I wasn't going to ship the the um the book. Chieftain Hall. Lightning Hall. Actually, these might be APCs. Yeah, these are APCs. No more dudes. More dudes. Like things holes. Different dudes. Gunners. Or heavy fire teams. All right. Like it feels like it feels like very soft, like a very soft and pliable, more more rubbery than anything else, which is interesting. millimeters okay yeah I, th I think uh, Team Yankee is like 30 or 20 which makes sense it's roughly half the size or a third of the size so that's really interesting I guess I could still get to eventually <laughs> but moving on to the book Code Worm, T the 10 millimeter Code Worm Miniatures game. That's how they compete with Team Yankee. And so they better find the full game. Well, group from Soviet and British. Now, even this got damaged by the other box. Interesting. Maybe it should have been hardcover. Yeah, that's a good thing. Why? Why are the holes over there instead of being like right there? Actually, why are both holes on the wrong side? That's weird. Introduction, introduction. I mean, it's clear, it's just not very pretty. And what makes this game a bit special is it has off map powers like air support and like air support, like right here, which costs AP. Oh, there's also, uh, uh, is it armor penetration or action points? Oh, well, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. Ah, there we go. Cool. 
Yeah, because it is cluster bombs, little war tech pods. So if we go all the way to the end, we should have what I want. And this game has a bunch of rules, you know, rules. Air spotter ambulance. Might be a more complex game than TNK. I'm just skimming through it. Memory lists. Equipment. Quick reference. Albinti. Movement has a standard movement, okay. There's some pressing in this game, which is nice. Roll dice for order. When did they show the quick, quick reference before, earlier? Really should have. And then if you're willing to cut this out, you can cut this out or just print it. For your, uh, for your units and stuff, but anyway. Helicopter jets, which aren't modeled, which you can't buy yet. This is why I was. This is what I want. Uh, this is why I wanted to look at. Why is it not before? Why is it before air power? Which is really weird. The MC battlefield. Okay, now, okay, do you play the, you know, okay, so the nuclear battery contains a single nuke strike counter, marked with mushroom cloud, if the, either player draws this, it counts as zero for how many battle rating, but it also can, but it also can be used if the falling interior on that, oh, well, if you draw nukes, if you draw nukes, you lose, draw nukes, you both lose, um, do you play the counter, the character, the, Player must have less than 10, 9 or below total BR left. Well, must be in danger of losing the battle to Cardinal Core Strike as a desperate last cast measure. He must, all, he must have included a crucial location in special rule number list. The special rule number list, mean, uh, list means that this location is so important that commanders must have had tactical to go warhead launchers on. Okay. Then you roll dice, say if you're in the blast zone, then once you're in the blast zone, take out all the units that are that are modified.
no, no biological warfare because it's too slow, chemical. Make you call in gas if you need to, okay. That's interesting. That's an interesting way to do it. Uh, I don't know how you did counters though. Um, is it like, do you, I didn't see any cards. Well, we saw the cards at the end of the book, which are weird. I mean, which is where you put all the stuff that you're meant to print out. So yeah, North Hag is a co more complicated game than Team Mickey I'm getting the impression of. But it's still not that complicated if you wanted to get it over Team Yankee. It's not that bad, especially if you wanted to get for the for the size of the units, bigger armies, not necessarily cheaper, really. Probably because it couldn't be any cheaper. I really like how I really like how the book is laid out. It's really nice. Definitely want to think about doing it this. I mean, it's kind of it's a simple way of doing it. Doing it, where it just looks a little bit pretty, and that's that. Although these are weird. These are weird. How many pages is it? Oh, come on, come on, come on. That doesn't count as a page. This is not gonna this page. Only 110 pages with units. Wow, that's crazy. All right, that will that be it for this video. Like nothing ever happened. All right, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching on this video. Is it worth it? Um, like, is this worth it over Team Yankee? No, I don't think it is. Uh, it's about the same price, but you get less, kind of. Well, you get more units. You get a complete army for the price of the stuff, for the price, uh, well, not even for the, not in, not in American dollars, you don't. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just not like, it doesn't have anything positive going for it over Team Yankee, really. I, like I said, I mainly wanted it for the, I mainly wanted it for that one nuke rule uh, and just what the new rules were like, because I like collecting rules. But other than that, you might just want to get the rule book and play the Team Yankee stuff, because Team Yankee stuff is just cheaper and just a slightly bigger scale. A slightly bigger scale, which is nice. Um, they they have better quality in their models. I mean, I like I like the feel of the models in this, like a rubbery plastic, or rubbery uh, rubber, rubbery resin or whatever it is. I like it. It's just that. I like it. It's just uh, flexible, no undercoat needed. No undercoat needed. That's nice. Well, it uses Ultracast. Okay, you just get, you can get Ultracast stuff anywhere. I think. I don't think that's special to them. Um. So, it, so is Battle Group North Hag worth it right now? I say no. There's not enough. There's not enough to it. Um, if you want to play, if you want to play with the special airstrike rules, rip them out of this game and put them Team Yankee. <laughs> it's basically what I say, which is what I'm going to do. Um, because I really like, I really like the air, I really, really like the air sport rules in this game. Um, Team Yankee air sport is, you have the actual unit, but I like the off map artillery, which you have in this game, which Team Yankee doesn't have, including off map, off map nukes and, like, uh, and, uh, nu off map nukes, which is nice, but anyway. So, I'm still glad I got it, but just to show on the channel, but I'm not, you know, I'm not too impressed. Uh, Plastic Soldier also makes a lot of other things that might interest you, though, but uh, I, I, I mean, I, yeah, this was, these were the only things I saw, my, I saw, I saw that I was really interested in when, when I was there, so, yeah, when I was on their site, but I'll get in the description anyway. All right, that'd be, for, that'd be our first video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching this video. Please ask me, also, me, ask me if you were to check out the rest of the stuff at the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as the various Facebook channel, 
such as various ways for his channel, including uh, or such as various ways for his channel, which of course the best ways for his channel is by engaging in other content that we produce and by sharing friends, family, and it will also be listen to you. All right, that'd be it for so. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you in a second. Oh, that was light. Int.